Mom, no hair. Are you ready for the driverless car? I got to try one. This is exciting and scary. Scary because it's not natural to just sit here and let the car drive. This car is the Tesla S, the closest thing to a totally driverless car that consumers can buy now. I had to leave my state to test it. New York's archaic laws forbid taking both hands off the wheel. But once we were out of New York, the Tesla rep had me turn on the autopilot. All right, so I'm doing nothing. The car is driving itself. And this truck is coming. I'm scared. It takes time to get comfortable with having the car make decisions. In this tunnel, I was especially nervous. This is terrifying. I'm Good. breathing heavily here. It turned out I was right to be scared. Now, what happened there? The car drifted left. My left wheel hit the side of the tunnel. When you pulled the wheel, you disengaged the autopilot. Sorry, ah, I wasn't okay. looking. You got to tell me that. Touching the brake or wheel takes the car out of autopilot. But once I learned how the car works, I found not driving is pretty cool, though weird. This is not natural, but it does work. It drives itself, and it's safer than me. Safety is the big reason we should welcome these cars. 94% of people killed in car crashes are killed because of human error. The computer in this car would prevent many of those deaths. Here, the sensors see that I'm coming up on another car. I won't run into this car. It'll slow me down. Yeah, it already has. If I want to change lanes, just signal. It'll change lanes without me. Yes, it just does. And it stays in the lane. Then we sped up to 65 miles per hour, and the road turned sharp. <sighs> That was scary. I didn't think it would turn, but it does. This car is only partly driverless. It can't go on and off highways, for example. But soon it will do everything. People are going to be reading the paper. Actually, not a good idea, John. I'd appreciate it if you take it off. He stopped me because state laws say the driver must always be in control. What if I go to sleep? You'd be breaking the law. You need to remain in control of the vehicle at all times. But soon, if regulators allow it, technology will let us relax in our cars. And that could change our lives. It'll save lives and create more relaxing commutes. Now I'm in stop and go traffic and the car will go without my... Yes, it will. Also, there will be fewer traffic jams because robots react quickly to danger. Cars will be able to drive closer together. So more cars will fit on the same road. It'll be great, says economist James Miller. I could imagine an ad saying, computers crash. You're going to trust your life to a machine? People know that machines are better at people at a lot of tasks. Still, that idea of some machine trusting it with my life. Well, I mean, our brains are basically machines, and, but they're not machines that are optimized for going 65 miles an hour. The military is making all kinds of robots. They call this one the Wildcat. These will soon deliver supplies or rescue soldiers. Some robots will be used to kill. Already robots have changed life at some Japanese hotels. Welcome to the Hanel Hotel. This dinosaur is a front desk clerk chosen to appeal to kids. They have all types. Another robot stores your luggage for you. This one takes it to your room. And when you get there, there's no key the door recognizes your face through facial recognition software. This saves money. This hotel's cheaper than other hotels nearby. But it's cheaper because it employs fewer people. When robots do this work, fewer receptionists will get jobs here. Military robots will replace soldiers. Driverless cars will put taxi and truck drivers out of work. Maybe I'll lose my job to this guy. I will take your job, John. I'm smarter than you. People are going to lose their jobs. They'll have nothing to do. Well, you're right. Some people will lose their jobs, but other people will get jobs. Whenever there's been innovation, experts predicted that employment will decline. But the experts can't imagine the new jobs. Walmart will undoubtedly fire some truck drivers because their trucks drive themselves. But this is going to cause Walmart to lower their prices. Those savings will bring new opportunity. Don't believe it? Well, remember that 200 years ago, most Americans worked on farms. 90% used to work on farms, now less than 2%. Yeah, 
you'd think all those people would be out of work. A lot of people lost their jobs for a little bit of time, but then they found new jobs, and they found jobs doing things that were more productive, and that's how our economy grows. We forget how hard it was to grow food without tractors and other modern machines. Farm work was long and dangerous. We look back at horses and buggies. We saw the car displacing the horses, buggies, and buggy whips, but we don't lament that passage, do we? The blacksmiths of old probably had to figure out something else to do. They all found jobs. The economy evolves. It's an evolving ecosystem. But some don't want it to evolve. These cab drivers demand that government protect their jobs. 